Hello everybody and welcome to an After Effects text animation tutorial. Today I'm going to be giving you guys three different ways that I like to animate text within After Effects using absolutely nothing beyond what's already built into the program. So let's dive right into it. We have three examples here, three different text options that we can show you guys exactly what we can do. So what I'm going to do first is show you guys the mask. So with this first layer selected, I'm going to go and select the rectangle tool you can immediately see what this allows us to do. So we're going to drag this mask to the bottom. We're going to give it a little bit more room for the feather. So what that feather is going to do is kind of make it not so that it's such a harsh line. So I'm just going to show you guys an example here. You can see exactly what that does. So let's bring that to 20 and keyframe the path at the beginning. 12 frames in, which is about a half second, we're going to go to our selection tool and bring this mask up. Now what you can see immediately is just what that does. It brings in the text. Now this is kind of boring on its own. It's a little lackluster. So what I like to do, so I like to hit P for my position and at the end set a keyframe because that's where the text is going to stop. And then, then at the beginning go in really any direction. I like to go up or down in this mask because it is a vertical situation. So I'm going to go down a little bit your, your distance can vary here. And what I'm going to do is easy ease that movement. So what you can see is that this text kind of just springs up into action. And this is a really cool way to kind of introduce new characters in a video or adding some text over B-roll if that's something that you're looking to do. So this is a great way to kind of just play with masks, move your mask around. You can change your keyframes, do all sorts of different things with the expansion, the mask, the movement, and really just play around with the mask in that sense. Example number two, what everybody forgets is that After Effects has amazing built-in solutions to text animation. Look at all of these different options that we can play with. So what I'm going to do is just show you a couple. So here's uh, Espresso Eye Chart. You can kind of see exactly how that likes to work. If I can get it to actually play, since my computer's a little bit on the leg end. Oh, that's because it's just the beginning of it. There we go. So you can kind of see what this does. Now, it seems as if this is a, an effect that's larger than the composition size. So what I'm going to do is just go to composition and change it to, let's just say, nine seconds. Oops. And then if we zoom out, there we go. You can see those keyframes. So you can see exactly what this does. It really has a good way to just kind of bring in the text. It's a cool little different effect. So that's one way that I like to use these built-in effects. Another one that I think is arguably even more effective is the typewriter. So it's pretty plain Jane. In this case, I'm going to need to probably bring the composition a little bit larger again. So let's just make it 14 seconds. Here's our keyframes. We can hit U twice to be able to see them, select them, bring them over and trim our composition back down. So typewriter, pretty straightforward. It's a typewriter. But what really is cool about this is being able to change where those keyframes are and changing the speed of it. So if you've got a long paragraph that you're trying to type on while maybe um, an interviewee is going through a quote that you want to just show on screen as they're talking about it. You can have different effects and you can change. So I can add this 22% and let's just say I drag this out. So if they're talking slowly at first and then they speed up or change pace within that quote, you can go and you can do that right in this program. You can go and you can do all of those things right within these effects. And it's really cool to do that as well. The third example that I want to show you guys is other effects that you can use within these text animations. So what I like to do is I like to do Gaussian Blur. This is probably one of my favorite ways to do this. I like to go and let's just show you guys what 100 looks like. So 100 looks pretty darn good. So let's just say that's what we want it to be. So at the end we're going to do this, have a keyframe here, hit the opacity, bring this down to zero. And if we just go forward a second, we'll bring down the blurriness to zero, the opacity to 100, and you can immediately see what that does for us. Now what I like to also do in these situations is kind of play with the scale a little bit. So if we go and we do 115, and we hit the scale at the beginning, and then a second in, let's just say even a second and a half, we go down to 100. 
what this does is it really just kind of helps the text fade in in a really cool way. So I like to use this over cinematic b-roll. If I'm announcing a location and I'm making a video that's, let's just say I'm traveling to Maui and I'm making a travel video on Maui, this is exactly how I would introduce that location. So I would have this text, it would blur in, it would be really cool. I'd probably slow it down a little bit. So I can go in and I can kind of just Let's just drag all these out. You can kind of just see exactly what that can look like. Another way that I like to do this, let's just undo all of these things, is I like to use linear wipes. Now this is another way to do the masks, but I really want to just show you guys all of the cool things that you can do with what After Effects already provides you. I went ahead and changed the wipe angle to 270 because as you can see, it's kind of backwards off the bat, which I don't understand necessarily, but we're just gonna go and change that. So 100% is technically the beginning, 0% is technically the end. So we can go through and have this be 100%, even just masking it, let's just do 25 with the feather there. And we can do transition completion, and then go 12 frames in, drop this down to zero, and you can see exactly what that looks like. Now, let's say we want this to go out and animate out, but in the opposite direction, because if we go here and we do this from the same capacity, if we go here and hit UU again to bring these up, add a keyframe here, and then go back down to, well, up to 100, I should say, you can see that it goes backwards. Say we want that to be a little different. Say we want it to go still from left to right animating out. What we can do, is we can go here and change the angle. So we'll keyframe the angle right before that transition begins. So what I did there is I'm using Command or Control and the arrow keys to go just one keyframe left or right. And then what we can do here is go to 90. And then you can see it animates just the same way. So it goes left to right in both directions. I hope this helps you guys get off the right foot. There's so many other things that you can do within After Effects. Just to give you guys a quick example of some of the crazy things that you can do, I'm just gonna add a CC lens effect. This is one of my favorites going back into my early editing days. This is something that I used a lot. So I can go and bring this in. Let's just bring that there. And then 500, you can see it kind of gives a, a really cool zoom style effect. It kind of just flows right in. And it's just really cool. There's so many things that you can do within After Effects. I always say to people that are new to After Effects that if you can imagine it, After Effects can somehow make it happen. So if you wanna see some more ideas and more ways that anything can be a possibility, leave some thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear what you guys wanna see. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.